we all are. There is no one on the face of the earth that could have ever convinced me to jump out of a plane, except for your father. <laughs> and we did it. We had a big, mad, passionate kiss <laughs> at the end, and that's something that I get to have forever. Do you know about that? How would I know about that? I don't know that I would have tried to get my law license back if not for great. In fact, I know that I wouldn't have. And even if my efforts didn't pay off, Gregory made me see, then even when you're doomed to lose, you try. That's the triumph. I, uh, I wish I could say I learned forgiveness from my dad. I should have. God knows he forgave me for all my transgressions. And I will forever hold him in my heart as an example of the kind of man that I want to be. And I am already sorry for all the ways I know I'm going to fall short. I'm sorry, Dad, it took me so long to become the son you deserved. I had a great example of that. It just took me too long to learn it. Gregory did not suffer fools. He once told his son in front of me not to value the opinion of snobs. I was the snob and I was being foolish and I regret it deeply. You know, as time marches on, the missed opportunities in life loom larger and larger. The things we might have done, the things we might have been, the weight of questions never asked, it all just gets heavier. I don't have a lot of regrets. I don't really believe in them. But Gregory was a great friend to me. He was also a missed opportunity. If I'd known him sooner, longer, better, I, would he have been? I don't get to know. So you might be asking yourselves right now, what is the moral of this story? <laughs> <laughs>